So I got a new toy. Starlink. Not only Starlink, but Starlink Mini with the Roam plan. So between that and my battery, I could go hiking and have you everywhere. I'd never had this, never had one. I must've opened it. Let's see how it works. All right, instructions, look at that. Here is the dish. It's about two pounds. Ooh. And then it has the stand and your connections on the back. You see it has the network jack if you wanna hardwire it. But we're not doing that today. All right, let's put that there. Ooh, power cable, about 20 foot, I'd say. And what's this, a mount and the power. Oh. I don't, who reads these things? Like, I can't, but this, pictures, I could do. All right, so picture one, power it up. Get our fancy power cord. Both a standard power adapter. One goes in the plug. One goes in the dish. It's powered. Now it says to get the app. I'm actually gonna turn it to get a better view of the sky here. App is open. Uh, looks like it says, what's that say? Should we look for like a Starlink Wi-Fi? Let's try it out. And I see Starlink. Connected. We'll click on Start Setup. We got the Mini. Confirm. Clear view of sky. Your Starlink will need to be outdoors with a completely clear view of sky to stay connected to satellites. Once Starlink gets online, we'll guide you to align it if needed. All right, have a clear view. Your Starlink has built-in Wi-Fi. Find an outdoor location as close to your devices as possible to ensure a strong Wi-Fi connection. Avoid metal roofs and thick walls that can block signal. All right, I have location. Plug in Starlink, it's on. Starlink paired successfully. Your device is connected to Starlink. Next, let's get your Starlink connected to the internet and optimize your setup. Ooh, down the update already. Hmm. So right now, my dish is using 21 watts, 23 watts, 20 watts. So around 20 to 25 watts. That's pretty low, that's pretty good. Let's configure Wi-Fi. That's a good name. How about mini Wi-Fi? Good enough. Password, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for now. Applying settings. Wi-Fi is reloading to apply your new network settings. This takes about one minute. All right, connect to Wi-Fi. Connected. So we have some options here. Obstructions, how about statistics? Latency, 35 milliseconds. Power draw right there, 23 watts. Obstructions. How cool is that? Does it really show? So what if I should align it? Turn Starlink to match the target. Like that. Starlink is aligned. Blue is clear view. 
Red would be obstructions. Ooh, here we go, speed test. Start. Ooh, 200, broke 200. So the first test down is 138, up is 10. Let's try it again. Move my head out of the way. I wonder if that's making a difference. No, my head did not make a difference. So this time down was 106, up was 27, much faster. Latency's good, 22, that's really good. Well, that was easy. From open to up and going about five minutes, minus the time of me poking around and playing with this thing. That's pretty cool. Ideally, we could take this anywhere we go, whether it be here or in the forest, and have high-speed internet. That's so cool. So my setup, this is AC2A Blue Eddy. This is one of their smaller ones. It weighs about 7.9 pounds. You can go smaller, but it's only a, like two pounds smaller, but it's a lot less battery. So I want this. It's not too bad. If I'm hiking short hikes, it's, it'll be no problem to carry. This setup here will power the, the dish, which includes the Wi-Fi, for at least 10 hours. So that's plenty of time for a trip or a weekend trip. I got the dish. This is a refurb. So normally I don't buy refurbs, but this looks like it's in really good shape and the reefer warranty with Starlink is the same as brand new. This brand new is $4.99. I actually paid $3.49 for it. And like I said, it looks new. There's no issues with it. I mean, you send me set up, it works great. Uh, it looked like it was new coming out of the box. So yeah, $3.49. This I got on sale for $1.49. So the total, you know, 600 bucks under there. Not a bad setup. The roam plans, I chose the, the 50 gigs a month. There's only 50 bucks. I don't think I'll need more than that. Unlimited is 165 for the roam plan, and that's monthly, which if you're in somewhere that has no internet, that's a great option. Uh, but being local in a city and having Xfinity or AT&T, that's kind of a high, high price, considering you could have something faster for cheaper still. I'm gonna go play with this and see what else we could, uh, and see what trouble we get into. 